You've done it. You've learned all there is to know about home security, or have you? Security isn't just about keeping intruders out. Security is also peace of mind. So today we're going to officially wrap up our home security series. We're gonna talk about a few other devices to help give you peace of mind in your smart home. Hey there, my name's Ian. Welcome to IntelliHomes. As always, before we dive into today's video, we always recap where we've been and what we've been doing. We have been talking about home security, a way to DIY your home security and not just go through a big boxed prepackaged system, but to actually individually select all the different amazing components so that they work cohesively together in a simple but effective smart home security system. What we've been talking about is all the different devices that you can purchase. We dove deep into each individual device and talked about some practical applications for them. And today we're going to be finishing off that series with a few devices. So I encourage you to go back to the very beginning, watch those devices and learn all about the different components of the smart home security, or go back and learn what the basics of a smart home are. Today, we're gonna to be diving into peace of mind and three devices that you might not have known were a part of security and a part of keeping your home safe and giving you peace of mind while you are sleeping or even away from your home on vacation. So let's dive into three devices that you need for peace of mind at home. If you've kept up with my series and you've watched all my videos from the beginning, then these devices are not going to be anything new for you. These three devices are ones I've already made individual videos about so we're really just going to be doing a brief overview to kind of wrap up this whole series that we've been doing on smart security systems. But I did want to take a moment and specifically talk about some of the practical applications that you could be using for these devices. Now, the first device is smoke alarms. As I said, I've already done a video on smoke alarms specifically. What smoke alarms do for you in peace of mind is you can not only get them to interconnect, which most devices have nowadays where they're not only just running on battery, but they're also plugged into your home so that when one of them goes off, all of them are going to start going off. It's very nice to have because if for some reason you can't hear one, you're going to hear five or six of them, however many might be going off. What you can also do, though, is add the smart layer component. So what you can do with having smoke alarms that are also smart or Wi-Fi connected is if you are not at home and those go off, you're gonna be getting a notification about them. It's pretty simple as that. It's just a layer of peace of mind so that you're not getting a call from the neighbor or the fire department about your home, but you're gonna be notified before anybody else knows because you're getting it directly to your smart device whenever there is smoke in your home. The next one that is a smart device that I've also purchased, which is a carbon monoxide detector, CO, not CO2 like I did in my previous video about it, uh, but I've purchased two of these. They go on each level of my home. I haven't yet installed them. I am going to be waiting till the next Amazon Prime Day where I'm going to be purchasing the same branded smoke alarms as well to interconnect all of them together. You'll be seeing a video around smoke alarms and CO detectors in the future as we do a deep dive unboxing and just some practical use about them and which ones you should be considering when purchasing them for your home in the future. Again, with as smoke alarms, CO detectors are the same thing. It's more of a peace of mind at home because a lot of times the CO is a problem when you're at home, you're sleeping or something like that. You're not only going to get the CO alarm going off, you're also be going to be getting a notification on your phone. So again, if you're not home for any reason and this device goes off, you can be notified remotely as well. Last but not least is our leak sensors. So leak sensors are one that I still am looking at purchasing. I haven't found one that I absolutely love just quite yet. But what leak sensors are is a little tiny puck style device that can be placed near any water source that might have a potential leak. Common places you would put them is next to a hot water heater or under a sink inside a cabinet so that if your plumbing is leaking in there, you'll be notified. Or if that hot water heater starts leaking, you'll be notified as well. These not only give a very loud dust bowl alarm, kind of like a smoke or CO detector, 
but then you can also get that smart notification directly to your smart device. So if there is a problem, you can be notified as soon as possible. I know this was rather short today, but I did just want to highlight three different devices that were not only just for your smart home, but also helped give you a peace of mind in your smart home security system. These devices can get very expensive. I know smoke alarms I've looked at, I need six of them in my home and I'm looking at spending anywhere from 100 to $200 on these devices. So they can be expensive, they're not very cheap, but it is a level of peace of mind that goes along with having that not, having that know that your doors are secure, your windows are secure. If something were to happen in your home, whether you are home or you are away, you are gonna be getting notifications about what's happening inside your home, outside your home, no matter where it might be or where you might be. Just keep in mind when it comes to purchasing your smart security system, not everything has to be all done at once. I highly encourage you to watch all these videos and build a roadmap of how you wanna purchase these devices, which ones you're gonna purchase first, how many, when you're gonna be building onto your system, or what you can do to add in the future. It can get very expensive, especially with the cameras, purchasing devices for an entire build out. You can spend easily thousands of dollars on this, but it is your home, it's your family that you are protecting. So again, feel free to purchase them all at once or buy them individually over time and build out your system like I do. Also keep in mind that this is an ever evolving system. At all times, there could be a better device that you've already purchased. I know it can be frustrating, but just buy what's possible right now and know that you can always upgrade in the future when something available does come around that you can afford and purchase. I really thank you for joining me in our smart home security series. If you haven't watched the basics of a smart home and don't know what a smart home is or what we're talking about here, go ahead, watch from the very beginning. I highly encourage it. I hope you'll learn something from it. Going forward, we're gonna figure out what next new series we're gonna be doing Otherwise, we're just going to have periodic videos around what smart devices that you could be adding to your home, some unboxing, some practical use application, various things that just have to do with smart homes in general. I hope you've enjoyed this video and all the videos that I make. Every week on Saturdays at 11 a.m. Alaska Standard Time is when I upload videos, so make sure you go ahead, hit that notification button down below so you could be notified when it's time for a new video. Take a moment, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down below and share this with a friend who needs to learn about smart homes. I thank you guys for watching. We'll hope to see you here in the next video. My name is Ian. We'll see you later. Bye. -bye.